Welcome to the Tree Covery demo. In this video, we explain the features of the Tree Covery application. Tree Covery is used to visualize the recovery.gov data, which can be structured as two hierarchies. Award recipients can be aggregated by county and state or by project and funding agency. Tree Covery's main feature is two tree maps that reflect these two hierarchies. On the left of the screen is the agency hierarchy, while on the right is the geographical one. The two levels of the left tree are funding agency and project, while the two levels on the right tree are state and county. Currently, all awards are visible in the tree. The trees are currently sized by award amount, so that a node's area is proportional to the total dollar amount received by that node. To change the size by attribute, click on the size by dropdown and select the desired attribute. You can also choose the color gradient for the trees. Currently, the color by attribute is none for both trees, so that all nodes are the same color. To change the attribute, select the desired one from the drop down box on the right of the screen. Again, each tree has its own selection box and is colored independently. The base color for the gradient can also be changed. Two colors are used for each gradient, one for each end of the scale. To change a color, click on the square box, then select the desired color. You can filter the data so that only recipients satisfying given criteria are shown in the tree. To do this, use the filters available on the right side of the screen. Each attribute available for filtering has its own slider. To select recipients with a value in some desired range, slide the end of the sliders to the appropriate bounds. You can see the current values on the top left and right of the slider. The absolute minimum and maximum are visible below the slider. To select a node on the tree map, click on it. On the bottom of the screen, a table will appear with a list of the recipients who fall under this node. All attribute values for each recipient are shown. The table is sortable on each attribute by clicking on the column header of that attribute. Double clicking on a row opens up the recovery.gov page on that recipient. In the other tree map, the nodes sharing recipients with the selected node will be highlighted by a yellow square. The proportion highlighted is the proportion of recipients shared. The appearance of the highlighting square can be modified using the controls in the right panel. The square's color, opacity, and proportional size can all be changed. To magnify a node, you can zoom in on it by double clicking. The tree map will then show only that node and its children. When one tree map is zoomed in, the other will be filtered so that it shows only the same data that the zoomed tree map does. To zoom out, press Ctrl and click on the tree map from which you want to zoom out. This will cause the other tree map to be unfiltered correspondingly. When you have found something that interests you, you can save a snapshot of the current tree map. Right click to bring up the Save Snapshot option and click on it. A thumbnail of the tree map will then appear in the bottom right panel of the screen, the shoebox. Multiple views of the tree maps can be saved. To view saved snapshots, press Shift and click on the desired thumbnails. 
Then right click and select Compare from the pop-up menu. A window will open up with the selected tree maps displayed. 